Take you anywhere you want to go. Plenty fish out in the sea, but I keep throwing you the line. Go and do it for me, baby. Do it, baby. One more time. Baby, if you keep, keep doing what you're doing. First open of the year 2000. We're live inside Minute Maid Park here in downtown Houston. We expect a good battle out of this conquest matchup between the Knights and the Astros. Scranton will look to grow their empire. Coming up next. Stepping in, Carlos Correa. He will lead this one off today. Leading off for the night, the shortstop, Carlos First pitch on its way from Verlander. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. First pitch, one o'clock. Now the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Oh. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. It's hot, but not too hot this afternoon, and even 90 degrees here at first pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Not a second. At the plate, number 86. number 86. And he's ready to take his first cuts. Owen won the count. Bases are empty, one man out. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Now another 0 2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. There to play it is Springer, and that's out number two. Standing in, Gary first. Sanchez. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a ball fought off foul off to the right. It's strike one. Verlander has found success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable, and obviously that goes a long way as a starting pitcher. Matty V, there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher. Walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play, doesn't give up a lot of hits, doesn't walk very many batters, and when you do that, it's a good recipe for success, and it's worked for him so far in his career. Line drive to left. Coming on is Brantley, but he won't get there. It's a base hit. So that'll extend the inning and keep it alive for Charlie Blackman. So a runner at first with two away. And in the bat next, the big time RBI man, Charlie Blackman. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Here it comes on nothing and two. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. And this will kick off the base of the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Into the box, Jose Abreu. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground is short. Correa is up with it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop of first saves and error as this side is retired. Stepping up to the plate, Carlos Correa. He'll lead things off Leading here in the bottom the half of the first. first. Checks his swing, but this pitch Carlos. is right there for strike one. Correa. Now a changeup is bounced to second. Cano fields it cleanly, and a good throw gets him one gone. Now batting, George Springer, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Fastball in there for a called strike. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball.
Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. First delivery to him on the way. The second baseman. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Hot shot down the line, but a foul ball, 1-1. One one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball two. Two and two. Count remains two and two. The two two one more time. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Another one sent foul. Liner toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Two out hit. That'll bring Alex Bregman to the plate as well. So the runner at first here with two gone in the that's inning. Base and base that'll bring up the LSU LA. product, Alex Bregman. One ball, no strikes to count. Lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. Altuve leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And a breaking ball freezes him. Strike three called, and the side is retired. So digging in now, Daniel Murphy. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Verlander will take it himself for the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Yasiel Puig. Yasiel. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. And he offered at it. I'm not sure right now if I'm the pitcher. You could probably throw anything you want up there, and this guy's going to swing at it. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Here's Robbie Cano now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Right side. There is Altuve. Pro gets him there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. So striding in, Michael Brantley, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the whole half of the second. Swing and a little blooper to center. In there, a base hit. Coming to the plate now, Robinson Chirinos. In there, 0 and 1. Brantley gets his lead at first, nobody out. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control, 0 and 2. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2 once more is taken. That's ball one. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two seamer to right handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there, but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. On the ground for Cano, this could be two. To second for one. On to first, and they get them both. So base is empty now after the double play. And next it'll be the outfielder, Josh Reddick. Into the wind, the 0 1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Reddick behind the ball and two strikes. There's a good slider down and in at that back foot. That's a And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Chris Davis will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Chris Davis. And he'll start out there half of the third, top of the order to follow. Yeah. A swinging strike.
now it's 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. But back to the top of the order now. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. The 0 and 1 delivery. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Now it's swing and a miss, and he's behind 1 and 2. Hey, if these guys are going to have any chance in this one, they are going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this away for the second out. Stepping in and ready for another number shot. 86. Number 86. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's a slider that's inside 1 and 0. Swing and a liner. Foul. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Kirby Yates comes on now, and he's now just hoping to keep this thing tied. No save opportunity here. And he gets ahead 0-1. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Guriel behind the ball and two strikes. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. And he struck him out. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Hit hard toward first. And this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. There's Carlos Correa now, as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And this is down, and that should do it. No problems here, Houston. The Astros are going to walk off a winner. Dantar's final line score this afternoon. My boy, my boy, my boy.